Hi and Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today we are going to explain the Perkins 1300 EDI series diesel engine engine crank but does not start. What is the basic checks to fix to start the engine? This is the electronic stripes engine which have electrical operated injectors and also have ECM some and also have cam and crank sensor okay and also have IPR wall okay before the starting the video I small request to all newcomers if you are first time on my channel please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification to getting more let's update videos so let's explain how the problem is the engine is crank but does not start how to start to checking from the start to the end to fix the engine what is the basic checks after for the engine when engine crank but does not start so let's get started and move to the wiring diagram of the this engine okay as you can see here is some uh, sensor location which is very important rule in a initial start as you can see manifold absolute pressure map sensor on a top of the wall cover okay as you can see in another ECT engine cooling temperature sensor and also as you can see cam sharp motion pickup okay as you can see here is a some sensor and sensor layout injector control pressure OEM customer connectors and all on engine connection and engine oil temperature and engine oil pressures okay this is the sensor as you can see here the typical 1300 EDI on engine wiring harness gray ECM connector and Picard 20 pin injector plug and also the cam sharp motion pickup plug okay as you can see this is the complete harness of the engine okay of the one side so let's get started as you can see here some difference about the the injector solenoid are controlled by a 120 volt DC pulse okay 120 volt DC is a dangerous voltages okay pressure sensor and cam motion pickup required 5 volt DC and the injector pressure regulator valve required a pulse with the modulation signal okay as you can see all on engine connection okay this is the all on engine connection as you can see here all on engine connection have sensor connections and also the injectors okay and also have the pulse with modulation operated IPR valve as you can see this is our IPR valve okay so let's get started as you can see here we have some sensors from ACM gray connector engine pin 9, 8, 30, 19, 40, 16, 14, 12, 13, 17, 53, 51. Okay. As you can see, take the screenshot or pause the video and check the, all the wiring. Okay. As you can see, red wire is positive and green wire is a as you can see the green wire is a feed and the blue wire is a reference okay blue wire is a reference as you can see here this one okay and also check the injector wires 43 pin 40 21 42 41 okay and also pin 46 26 25 44 and 24 okay the one side is have three single single wire and one wire is common of the all injectors okay as you can see here the pin 42 is going to injector number one and also injector number two and injector number three okay this is the negative voltages okay and pin 43 21 and 41 this is the pulse 
pin 41 is going to injector number 3 pin 21 is going to injector number 2 uh, pin 43 is going to injector number 1 also same like the after injector number 4 injector number 5 injector number 6 pin 46 is directly going to the injector number 4 pin 26 is directly going to uh, this is the uh, common wire of the three injectors as you can see injector number 4 injector number 5 and injector number 6 pin number 26 is common of the three injectors okay pin 25 is going to injector number 5 and also pin 44 is going to injector number 6 as you can see here is a black is ground green is a signal purple is 1 15 volt and blue is a reference okay here as you can see blue is a reference green is a signal circuit black is a ground and red is a 12 volt and purple is a 115 volt okay this is the all on engine connection connector okay the down uh, connectors now let's move to the main connector which is used to start the engine okay this is the OEM customer typical connection okay upper type upper connector okay as you can see here ACM power relay out DC to DC converter positive feed SHO feed SHO feed ground feed DPS outputs ground feed DC to DC converter ground feed okay upper 25 21 22 41 this is the positive input and the main is EM relay turning on connection for the starting purpose okay to actuate the ECM then you crank the engine then when engine is going to start okay and also 23 42 1 and 2 this is the negative feed to the ACM and power main ACM relay okay and pin 37 and 32 and 41 and 24 okay free input uh, ACS input set cost okay STI switch and also the ignition of the IPR feed okay now let's move to the starting okay first of all if your engine crank but does not start first of all you need to check this IPR one okay IPR one pin 37 is a positive 12 volt feed or 24 volt okay sometime as you can see this is the pulse as you can see IPR control pulse from the ECM pin 37 okay and one is a pin 53 as you can see pin 17 sorry pin 17 is a EPR power which is positive 24 volt or 12 volt first of all verify make sure you have supply on it okay then check the as you can see here is a some sensor okay CMP okay CMP check the CMP power ground and reference make sure you have a reference 5 volt and ground and power okay after that you need to check the supply here in a pin 24 pin sorry pin 25 21 22 41 make sure you are getting here in a positive okay and also pin 23 42 1 and 2 make sure you are getting here in a negative voltages swap up the terminal lead and take the reading after both this pins on a ACM chases harness connectors okay 
which is all OEM connect customer connector upper connector of the controller okay if you have further any question please write comment below in comment section anybody require this uh, complete uh, wiring diagram manual PDF this is on just in USD please send the money I will transfer the PDF file to your on your email thanks for watching see you all next time goodbye